Hello and welcome to another iPhoneNerd.com tutorial. Today we're going to be covering how to jailbreak and unlock the iPhone 3GS using the Dev Team's Redstone 0.8. Uh, it's relatively simple. It's basically the same as any other Red Snow uh, tutorial. It works practically the same as any other tutorial you've seen. So it's very, very, very extremely easy. Um, just for your information, you can also do this if you're trying to jailbreak your uh, your iPod Touch first or second generation. Um, it's practically the same steps in order for you to get it jailbroken as well as your 3G. But for further reference, we're going to just call this a 3GS tutorial. Um, so, like always, we need to start by uh, just opening up Firefox or whatever browser you use, uh, going on to iPhone Nerd, and downloading the materials that you're going to need. Uh, you can go into, let's just click Downloads. And once we're in Downloads, we want to click Jailbreaking Tools. And then we want to scroll down here to where it says uh, Red Snow for Mac or Red Snow 0 0.8 for Mac or Red Snow, Red Snow 0 0.8 for Windows. Um, based on your operating system, you will download that and install it. Um, you also, you're also going to need to go back into the download section and click on firmware and download the 3DS uh, regular 3.0 from uh, operating system firmware from, uh, from the firmware section in iPhone Earn and that's right there so you can click that and then you'll click download and everything will be fine once you've got those two things and um, you've got the firmware on your desktop and you've installed Red Snow you can go ahead and open up Red Snow now you're going to be presented with this screen and what you want to do is you want to browse to the firmware that you uh, that you basically uh, downloaded um, in my case I have it in if it's easiest for you, you should put it on the desktop. I have a special folder for that kind of stuff. iPhone firmware, 3GS, and there it is. So I open that up, and it'll say processing, as you see here. And then it'll say ISPW has been identified, and we go ahead and we tap next. This is going to come up. It's going to basically patch the kernel, put all um, the good stuff in there, the jailbreak data in there. And uh, once it's done, it's going to ask you if you want to install Cydia and install IC. Normally I use IC, but everyone else uses Cydia. A lot of people like Cydia. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing both of them, uh, installing both of them. That's one of the common mistakes that people do. Um, just go ahead and say install Cydia and tap next. Now, on this screen, it's asking you to connect the phone in recovery mode. And it says it there, but just to make it easier for you, uh, the easiest way to do this is you power off your phone, you do that by holding down the power button, which is the lock button. You hold down the lock button, then you slide to power off. Once your phone shuts down, you wait a couple of seconds, you hold down the home button. You got to unplug your phone, by the way. Your phone needs to be unplugged while you're doing this. Uh, once you power off, you unplug your phone, wait a few seconds, you hold down the, power bu the, the, the home button uh, for five seconds and then you plug in the USB and keep holding down the power button till you see a USB cord and the iTunes logo then you know that you're in recovery mode <clears throat> once your phone is officially in recovery mode which for this tutorial I'm not gonna do this because mine's already jailbroken um, Red Snow will begin to patch the jailbreaking data into it or begin to uh, upload the jailbreaking data to it and then your phone will eventually restart and it will be jailbroken. If you want to see the images of what Red Snow does after that, after it is um, it is, you know, after your phone is plugged into recovery mode, you can go into how to jailbreak the iPhone 3GS on 3.0 using uh, Red Snow, and there are screenshots here. This is we're loading rather slow. Um, We've been being, we've been getting overloaded normally uh, lately. So once you click that in there, let's just say for further reference, once you click in there, <clears throat> let me close this. It's not working properly. Once you click in there, you'll see other pictures of what it does afterwards. And then to unlock, once you've done all this to unlock, what you need to do is you need to just check my other videos on YouTube, or you can go into iPhoneNerd.com as well and just go into tutorials. And under tutorials, you want to look for unlocking uh, the iPhone 3G or 3GS after the jailbreak. Uh, and that will teach you how to put in the repo 
and basically how to go about unlocking. Um, <clears throat> the dev team has come out with a new Ultra Snow, so you want to make sure you install the ultra, the newer Ultra Snow and not the older one. And you do this by checking the versions before you download. Uh, that's about it. If you have any comments or questions, just give me a message. Shoot me a message. Please subscribe. Remember that... Uh, it helps us a great deal so we can buy better servers and run a lot quicker. If you click on our ads, 